to my channel. Today's video was originally going to be my updated uh, drugstore foundation routine, but but as I sat here and I was looking at like my spread, like I lay out all of the products that I'm going to use for, you know, like the next makeup tutorial, obviously, or makeup look. Um, so I had everything laid out and as I was looking at it, I was like, this is seriously all drugstore and affordable products. So I was like, why not make this a updated drugstore foundation routine slash full face using only drugstore and affordable products. Um, so that is what I did do today. Um, this is all drugstore and affordable products. So if you guys are interested in getting this look and saving that money using drugstore products, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, so my face is already primed and I did go ahead and just fill in my eyebrows. I feel like that would just save some time. <laughs> face primer. I do see that it does minimize my pores just a little bit. It's not as good as let's just say the uh, Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer, um, but it still does do something for my face. I mean, I always do tend to go uh, to this whenever I want to go ahead and not use like my higher end, like for, a, uh, for an everyday um, use. I do go ahead and I use this and my makeup still looks good and it doesn't make me oily and it doesn't make me feel greasy at all. And then for eyebrows, I just went in with the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. This is just what it looks like. And then I did go ahead over them with a little bit of the e.l.f. Um, eyebrow gel. And then, of course, to go ahead and clean them up, I went in with the NYX Above and Beyond um, Full Coverage Concealer in Medium. Um, so now, as far as the face, for the full coverage, what the foundation I've really, really, really been loving is this one by Maybelline. It's the Super Save Better Skin Foundation. This is the one in 90 Warm Honey. I do have a first impression on this foundation, and you guys, this is just an overall amazing foundation. I really, really like it. I feel like it gives me so much coverage, but yet it doesn't feel too heavy or look too cakey, you know what I'm saying? Um, this has just been one of my go to foundations ever since I did purchase it. I always tend to just go back to this one, especially when I'm not using my higher end foundations. I definitely just go in with this one. Like I said, this one just gives me the right amount of coverage. So, what I like to do for, I don't know why, but for some reason, for some reason with drugstore foundations, I like how they apply better with a brush. I don't know what it is. Like all my higher end foundations, I can totally go in with a beauty blender, no problem. But I feel with a drugstore, no matter what it is, it doesn't matter what kind, I get the best coverage and the most flawless application using a brush. And I do go in with the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush to go ahead and apply that all over my face. And then I love to buff it out with the ooh, Real Techniques Buffing Brush. These two came in a set along with, I think, the Detailer Brush. Um, I got them at Ulta a while back and they still have them. I just, I really, really like these brushes. So what I like to do is go ahead and apply some to the Pointed Foundation Brush. And I don't measure out my pumps because I go in little by little and I paint it on my face. I just go with the flow so I don't necessarily go like one whole pump, you know what I mean? So I just go with the flow until I get the desired um, amount that I want. And I do like to work in a section because I did mention before that the foundation just doesn't dry on me. Like if I were to paint it like all over my face right now, I feel like one side would get too dry before I even got the chance to go ahead and blend it out. And then it would just, I don't know, it just wouldn't look as good as if I were to do it like this. In my opinion, I mean it might just be in my head, but... Okay, so now that I'm done painting that on this side, I'm just going to go ahead and buff it in. And I do like to go pat, and then I also like to, um, like, swirl it. But I mainly like to pat so I can go ahead and get the most amount of coverage. Um, it kind of, it's kind of like a beauty blender, but, like, a different texture beauty blender, you know what I mean? Like, that's just how I do it, like, you know. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I hope that makes sense to you guys, and I'm not sounding like a weirdo, but it's like... 
like that. And that right there is going to be one layer. This alone does give me a good amount of coverage, but since I want a full, full coverage, I'm going to go in a, in, a, in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and do this side. And then in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and go over like all of my acne scarring areas with like a second layer. Um, that's just what I personally need. You might not need that extra layer. Um, but it doesn't matter what foundation I get, I always go back in with a little bit more just on my cheeks, not necessarily the rest of my face. I kind of just use the foundation as a concealer as well, just so I know it's like the right color, you know what I mean? Like if you were to get a concealer, like what if it's a different color? Um, so yeah, I just like to go back in with a little bit more of the foundation and kind of do like a second layer only on the areas that, that I need. So I'm going to go ahead and do this side and then we'll go back in and do the uh, like spot concealing. Uh, we also want to make sure that we bring the foundation down our neck so we don't look crazy and have like two different colors um, like from our head to our neck. Also, I want to mention this brush is awesome for getting around the eyebrows. Like I feel like it's just a perfect shape for it. So now that we are done with that, we're just going to go ahead and go back in with the uh, spot, I don't know how to call it, like spot concealing, spot, spot foundationing, I don't know. Um, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and just go over my cheeks because you guys know that is where I have my acne scarring. And then I also want to go ahead and do another layer right here because I do have that dark shading around my mouth. Um, it probably just has to do with like hormones or like the color of my skin. Um, I've just always had that darkness around my mouth, like mainly like right here and like the corners of my mouth. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and take a little bit more of the foundation and just apply it right there. I even have like some acne scarring like right there on my neck. And again, I am just working in sections with this foundation. And then when I go ahead and apply that second layer, I do less pressure of the uh, brush so I can make sure that that looks, um, that I get the maximum amount of coverage, if that makes any sense. Now that we're done with that, honestly, like that it's on my face, I can straight up tell you guys that, that it pretty much feels like I just applied moisturizer to my face. I mean, it could be because I am used to wearing such heavy foundations, just this one is one of the ones that feels lighter than the other ones. Um, okay, now for concealer, if you guys have been watching like my previous videos, you guys would know that I have been loving mixing the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Concealer. This one's in the color medium. Now, even though this does an amazing job at highlighting underneath my eyes, this is something, but when I use it by itself, it's more for like an everyday kind of natural look. Um, that is what I love using this for, but lately, since I have been wanting that extra highlighted effect underneath my eyes, I've been loving mixing this with other foundations, with other foundations, with other concealers, especially if they're like super, super light, because I feel like this one just neutralizes it and doesn't make it look too, too white underneath. Um, so for today, I'm going to be mixing this one with the Maybelline Fit Me um, concealer. This one's in the color sand. So for today, since I am doing that super full coverage um, foundation routine, um, I'm going to be mixing both of these because this one is definitely more of the thicker one. This one definitely reminds me of the uh, NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I'm sorry if I keep looking over here. I'm looking at the monitor so I make sure I am in focus because if you guys have seen my other videos, you guys know that I tend to get out of focus. Um, but anyways, as I was saying, yeah, this one just definitely reminds me more of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. This one is definitely more of like that thicker concealer. Um, it's not as, I mean, it's creamy, but it's more thicker than this one. This one is definitely way more creamy. Um, so like, I, and this one is lighter too. So when I mix these two together, they just look amazing underneath the eyes. So I'm first going to go ahead and conceal with the Fit Me Concealer. I'm going to go ahead and use it underneath my eyes. As soon as you guys can see, it is really, really light. But when I go ahead and put this one on, it looks awesome. 
So as usual, I'm just going to go ahead and paint it underneath my eyes. I do use my concealer as um, eyeshadow primer, so I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids. I'm going to put some on my forehead, nose, chin, or cupid's bow, and chin, all the usual areas. And then, of course, I'm just going to go back over them with the uh, Maybelline. Oh. And then, of course, I'm going to go ahead and go over those areas with the Superstay um, Better Skin Concealer. And this one I like to keep more in the bottom of it because I feel like I need a lot of that other coverage like in there since I do have some dark circles. Now I'm going to go back in with the Real Techniques buffing brush to go ahead and blend all this out. I have mentioned before that I really like using the tool I use to apply my foundation to go ahead and um, blend out the concealer because I feel that the leftover foundation on the brush or the sponge just helps blend it into your skin even better to make it look a little bit more natural. Um, so yeah, and again, I'm just going to press that against the skin like this, not necessarily rubbing it. And also this uh, brush is really, really good to go ahead and blend out concealer. Uh, as I said, this, I feel like it just fits underneath. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. It fits underneath very well. I feel like the bristles move to, like, the area you need or, like, the shape that you need it, if that makes any sense. Um, so, yeah. I feel like this still does an amazing job to blend out concealer even underneath the eyes. Like, I don't really need, like, a precision um, a brush to go ahead and do that. Now, to go ahead and set that in, I am going to go in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the translucent color. Um, for me personally, I don't like to bake with this powder because it is, I mean, it has like a pink undertone to it. Um, but I feel like whenever I were to um, bake with it, I feel like it just, it's really, really hard to brush that excess powder off. So I end up having like a white cast. So what I like to do is just pretty much dust it underneath my eyes. I personally don't like to, like I said, bake with it. I feel like it might have to do with the color of like my skin because I am a little bit tanner. Um, so I feel like if you're more fair, you can definitely bake with it. But since I am um, more tan, then I do get uh, that white cast if I were to bake. But if I do just go ahead and dust a little bit underneath my eyes, I have no problem with that. Like I don't get a white cast or anything. And as usual, I'm going to go ahead and press that concealer in once again so I don't have any creasing. And then quickly try to go in with the powder. If you are oily skin, I also really, really do recommend this powder because this powder really does suck up all the oils. Like, literally, it is probably one of the best, like, mattifying loose powders that there is out there. Out there, Even from high-end to drugstore, this is probably one of the best powders to go ahead and keep you matte. Like, you feel like this thing, like, there's no oil on your face. Like, right now, I feel like there is absolutely no oil on my face so if you are more oily skin I really do recommend it um, as far as dry skin I feel like um, I'm not really sure if you guys I mean would like it I mean if any of you have dry skin and you guys do enjoy this powder um, definitely let everyone else with oily skin I mean with dry skin know down below I personally have oily skin but during the winter I have I tend to have like dry skin until I put like a lot of moisturizer on my face but I still tend to get oily I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, but for me, it still works during the winter time. Um, I don't feel too, too dry when I apply it. Um, I do, you know, whenever you put powder on your face, you feel a little bit stiff no matter what time of the, what time of the season. Um, but you can quickly fix that with a little bit of setting spray and it just, it goes back to being movable but still matte. Okay, so at this point, I am done with the face part. Now, I'm not 100% done, but as far as it goes like right now I am done because I really really like the foundation to go ahead and dry before I do add the final setting powder because I feel like when you apply setting powder too fast to your face after applying the foundation I feel like you don't give it enough time to dry so when you apply you do take some of that coverage off I've won that over the years you guys trust me so what I personally like to do is go ahead and apply my eyeshadow um, 
So I like to go ahead and apply my eyeshadow while that dries. Before I use eyeshadow, I would go ahead and do my hair and then go ahead and finish my face. Um, but now since I do use eyeshadow, I'm just going to go ahead and go in with eyeshadow. Um, and sticking to the whole affordable uh, or the full face drugstore makeup look, I'm going to go ahead and use the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bybel palette. You can buy this on Ulta, Ulta.com and also obviously the BH Cosmetics site. It is 15 bucks, um, so it's a little bit more higher in the drugstore drugstore side but you do get all of I'm sure you guys have all seen this palette already but you do get all of these colors you do get 10 color eyeshadows and then these are the highlighters right here so if you think about it you do get a very very good deal for what you're paying for especially for the drugstore and the quality of the actual eyeshadows okay so I'm not really sure what I want to do with this palette but right off the bat, I know that I want to go ahead and go into this color right here. So this is the one, two, three, the third color. And I just feel like I always, whenever I use this palette, I feel like that's just always the color I use in my transition, my transition, for my transition shade. Oh, and I'm taking that on my Sigma Blending E40 brush. that shade to my transition I'm gonna go in to the fourth shade this is just a mauve pink color I'm gonna go ahead and apply that in my crease as well as a second transition color I'm not really sure what that's called but I'm just gonna go ahead and work that in my crease on top of the third color Oh, and I am doing this with the same Sigma brush and this one I don't want to really bring it all the way in like I did the first color I just kind of want to keep it away from the inner quarter um, just like with the rest like whatever it remains on the brush from focusing it on the outer corner I kind of bring it in just a little bit but I want the main pigmentation to be on the outer corner I have that in my crease I'm gonna go ahead and go in to that second pinkish champagne color and I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all over my lid and I'm gonna be using my elf blending brush this is just absolutely amazing for packing on color because the actual brush is big enough to go ahead and apply a lot of that eyeshadows are seriously super super pigmented like literally I got so much pigment off of that so now I'm going to go back in to the brush I was using for the transition color and I'm going to go ahead and blend all that together um, with no additional color on there just whatever was left over and I'm going to go ahead and just blend all that out since I do want to go ahead and deepen that crease up just a little bit more I'm going to go in to the darkest color in this palette right here at the top row, the um, fifth color. I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the corner of my eyes. And I think I've just jabbed into that highlighter right now. I just don't know. Oh, I did. Dang it. See, I just jabbed into that highlighter with my nails. Dang it. It's okay. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, I'm going to go ahead and apply that color to the outer corner, like literally just the outer corner. I'm not even going to bring it in or nothing. And I'm going to be using my Sigma Blending E25 brush. And then once again, with no additional product, I'm going to go in with the E40 brush and blend it out but still keeping it in the outer corner. Okay, so now as a brow bone color, I'm gonna go in with the first shade right here. It is just that this literally kind of reminds me of Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. 
Um, I don't really have peach smoothie in front of me, but that's what it kind of reminds me of. So if you guys know, I love using peach smoothie as my brown bone color. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one as my brown bone color. Okay, yeah, this one is more pigmented than this one. This one has a little bit more white in it. The other one, is, I prefer the other one a little bit more. This is still a good brow bone color for my skin tone, but I feel like it's a little bit too white for um, what I was expecting. So now I'm going to go in with a clean um, blending brush. This is the Just Blending In brush. This is the LAB2 brand from, I, I got this at Walmart, and I'm going to go ahead and try to blend that out to diffuse that color. So it won't be as like white on my on my eyelid. Okay, so now that we're done with the eyes, this is all I'm gonna do to them for now. I'm gonna go ahead and finally set the rest of my face with the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Press Powder. This is in the color Rich Tan. This is just an absolute great face powder. Definitely recommend the powder because I feel like the powder is so versatile. You can use it for so many things and it just makes your foundation, whatever foundation you use, look so flawless and smooth. Like I just, I don't know. I absolutely love it and I really, really do recommend it. So as usual, I'm going to go ahead and bring the powder down to my neck and then just to press it in the skin to just set the foundation you don't want to swirl it so you don't lose that coverage um and this is the final step to the full coverage foundation routine but since i did decide to just go ahead and do the whole thing like a full face drugstore look um we are not done with this video so as far as the full coverage foundation routine, the updated full coverage foundation routine, the drugstore ver version, we are done with that part. But now to go ahead and complete the face, we're going to go ahead and finish off the face. So we're going to go ahead and apply blush now. And for blush, I'm going to use my Tried and Trued. This is the Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze. I just absolutely love this um, blush. I feel like it is absolutely beautiful. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but well, like when you look at it, you're like, oh my god, there's so much glitter in it. But when you apply it in your face, it's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just pounce that on my cheeks. And I am using the Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 brush. And the reason why I pounce it on my cheeks is because, again, I don't want to rub it and swirl it all over my cheeks. So I don't want it to rub off that coverage. go back in with my large powder brush from Sigma and just tap it in to blend that out. Now for highlights, I'm going to go back in to the Carly Bybel palette and I'm going to go in with the second highlight. Oh, I did it again. Oh my god, I scraped that first one. Look at that. Oh, dang it. That's the one bad thing about having nails. You nick everything. Okay, so I, as I was saying, I'm going to go in to that second highlighting shade right there. I haven't used these highlighters yet, so we can go ahead and see how they work. So I'm going to go ahead and just take it on my uh, Anastasia A23 brush and then just... Okay, so it's pretty, but it's a really, really subtle... Oh, never mind. It's not subtle. Ooh, take that back. Take that back. Yeah, this is really, really pretty. It looks really, really nice. Okay, I like it. For a second, I thought it wasn't uh, super, super highlighty. <laughs> um, but I was in the wrong lighting. But now that I switched to this side and I can see with the lighting that's like hitting me, it looks super, super good. I really, really like that shade. That's actually the only shade that really caught my attention out of all of these highlights so anyways now we're gonna go ahead and of course blend that out and then now that we're done with that we are completely done with the face blend that out a little bit and the last step is to go ahead and apply a setting spray and I'm gonna be using the Maybelline Master Fix 
um, or boosting setting spray. This really, really does stink, but I feel like it just feels really, really refreshing in my face. I really, really like using a setting spray no matter what. Um, I don't really see any difference in my makeup using the setting spray. I just feel like it just feels better on my face whenever I spray it at the end. Um, so yeah, I don't really notice anything too special about any setting spray, but it just they just feel really, really good on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with it. And air it out. See, my face just feels so much better when I do that. It feels less stiff from all that powder I put on my face. Um, okay, so now to go ahead and finish the completed makeup look, I'm going to go ahead and just do my mascara and eyeliner off camera. You guys know how I do that. Um, I'm not going to apply any false eyelashes today. I'm just going to strictly use uh, mascara. So for mascara, I'm going to use the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. And for eyeliner, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Sickle Sign in Black. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera, and I will be right back. Okay, so now we can go ahead and move on to lips. And for lips, as usual, I am going to go ahead and use my NYX Lip Liner and Natural to go ahead and line my lips. And then <clears throat> to for a liquid lipstick, I'm going to use one from ColourPop. I know that you can't really get this off, well, you can't get this at all at a drugstore, but if you order it online, literally it's only like, what, six bucks, five bucks for one of these. And they are awesome. So the one I'm going to use, I'm going to... So the one I'm going to be using today is Chili Chill, which is an absolutely beautiful color. And I feel like this color really, really matches this eye look because it's like that mauve -y. Well, this is like a mauve brown color. And then like the eyes, I did go ahead and do a mauve eye color with a little bit of that shimmer. Um, so I think this combo is awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and do my hair really quick and I will be right back. And this is the final look, you guys. This is my updated drugstore full coverage foundation routine slash drugstore full face makeup tutorial. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this video video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to leave the comments down below and also remember I do I am doing vlog -sember. Um, so if you guys do like vlog -sember, then definitely go ahead and subscribe and check out those videos because I have so many fun things planned for vlog -sember. Um, as I mentioned it is gonna be like vlog style slash like a little bit like thrown in there like I don't know I don't know. Just go ahead and check it out. It's so much fun. I've really, really been liking doing Vlogsember. Um, so yeah, definitely check out those videos. And anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not. And I will go ahead and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!